This review is on the movie The Least of These, The Graham Stain Story. I'm the angry guy, and I'm going to tell you like it is. The Least of These film was based on a true story and was shot on location in India. The director for the film The Least of These was Graham Stain Story was Anish Daniel. Daniel is also an actor. He's also known for the film Kama Sutra, A Tale of Love. The cast for the film The Least of These was Stephen Baldwin as Graham Stain's husband of Gladys. Sharma Joshi as Mana Banerjee, husband of Shanti. Pronok Biwadi as Kidor. Ati Chingapa as Shanti. And Sherry Rigby as Gladys. In the 1990s, India was divided by several political injustices. One was the Maldul Commission Report. The report was the best jobs and best further education would be received by a person's intelligence and status. Sindhu nationalism, the expression of social and political thought, was under attack by demolition of mosques, which, is, which incited riots. Then the act that got Graham Staines in trouble was the Orshi Freedom of Religion Act, which states, no person shall convert or attempt to convert someone from the Hindu religion to another religion. And that's where my re review begins. Graham Staines, with his wife and three children, was an Australian Christian missionary and his calling in India came when no one else in town would help a person with leprosy. Graham picked that person up and tried to help him the best he could. Eventually Graham got the medicine and aided hundreds of people with leprosy and lent a hand to people who were rejected by their own people. By Graham Sting's actions alone, people wanted to be converted to Christianity. In the late 1990s, India royal areas were self-destructing. Our journalist, Monov, needing a good paying job, accepts work in the state of Orsi. He, he convinced his beautiful pregnant wife to move in hopes of a better life. When arriving, Monty found out quickly his boss, Kidor, was a demanding asshole. But Kidor promised Mada if he could find hard evidence that Graham Staines was converting Hindus into Christianity, he would give him a promotion with a substantial raise. Mono agrees to investigate Graham Staines as an undercover reporter. <coughs> Excuse me. Mono was an as Mono was aggressive at first, taking pictures of people, getting baptized, and reporting them to the authorities, and getting the people that was baptized in trouble with their own family. While visiting a small villages and trying to gather evidence against Graham, Monov got in trouble with a crowd of people, and to save his own skin, he gave a speech to the crowd about how to stop the converting of the Hindus, and that is by cutting the head off the snake. The more investigative reporter Monov tried to find out how Graham Staves was breaking the Orishay state law, the more Monov found out Hindus were converting to Christianity on their own, just by Graham's actions and his teachings. Some Hindus believed in Graham as a person, but never converted to Christianity. By knowing all these facts, the Orshi state authorities still wanted Graham to be stopped. The film, the least of these, the Graham Stain story, is now the best movie. It's not the best movie I ever saw. It doesn't have the greatest direction I've ever seen. It is not an action suspense thriller movie. What it is, is a human interest story. The film is about a man and his family for 35 years help people with medicine and prayers when no one else would. The film shows how universal love for all people is the most powerful attribute a human possesses. Graham Staines was a missionary for 35 years and worked with people that had leprosy. Everyone with a beating heart should watch this film. Thank you for watching and always thank you for subscribing. Thank you.